Hi, my name is Holly, and today we're going to talk about birds. But since I have a lot of useless bird facts, uh, to keep this presentation to a reasonable length, we're just going to talk about bird intelligence and why you might want to be a bird brain. Now, you might not think about bird intelligence all that much, but there have been a lot of studies that delve into that. One particularly interesting case is with Alex the parrot, who is an African gray known for his cognitive capabilities. Alex could count, he could do basic math, he could understand abstract ideas, and he could differentiate between objects and tell you why they were different, which is all very impressive. His research group uh, determined that his emotional intelligence was at the level of a two-year-old and his cognitive intelligence was at the level of a five-year-old. Now, parrots aren't the only brainy birds. There's also been a lot of research done with corvids, which are crows, jays, and magpies. They're particularly interesting because they exhibit a large range of human-like characteristics. For example, they recognize themselves in mirrors, they have a sense of value and currency, and they also use tools to solve problems both in the lab and in the field, which again is all very impressive. They're also mimics. They use that power though for evil in order to scare other birds away from bird feeders. So they're jerks, um, but that's okay. Parrots and corvids are not taking over the world. But what this research does mean is that birds are displaying a level of intellect that we don't expect them to have based on the size of their brains. So then how are they doing that? That's a great question. I'm so glad you asked. Because now we get to talk about bird brains. And in 2016, there was a study done comparing uh, bird and mammal brains of similar size. And what it found was that birds have twice as many neurons as those mammal brains. But what does that mean? Does that mean that all birds are Einsteins? Well, that one is. That's Einstein, the African gray. But no, I once watched a peregrine falcon take a running jump off a rock and fall flat on her face. She was missing a wing. I feel like she should have known better. But what the neuron thing does mean is that if you have a bird and a mammal with similar brain sizes, are they going to they're not are they going to have the same level of cognitive ability? Well, no. How many bush babies do you see going around doing math problems and understanding abstract ideas? But we see that in birds. So what the neuron thing means is that they're processing and analyzing data twice as fast and that gives them the cognitive abilities that we see in birds. Now, I threw a lot of information at you, uh, and I hope you took some of it away, but if you take nothing else, I hope you'll take that birds are cool, and birds are weird, and birds are smarter than you think. And if anybody ever calls you a bird brain, they might not be insulting you, they might be commenting on the surprising level of analytical ability that you have. Uh, but now you have all the tools to go around and tell everybody how cool birds are, and how smart they are, and if you do that, then my work here is done.